Hello and welcome to Bowler CBT Labs. This is part of the CCNP security series and in this video we will be covering management plane security in uh, a pretty simple sense of the term there. Uh, the topics that we will cover are enable passwords, both regular enable and enable secret. Uh, we'll cover the use of the service password encryption command. Those should be review for uh, everyone viewing this video, especially if you are in the process of studying for the CCNP security, uh, because you will have already had to take the CCNA security to be qualified for the CCNP security. And uh, even in the most basic Cisco certifications, enable is covered, but We'll just cover it here as a very, very quick review. Uh, we will next move on to role-based access control, RBAC, and uh, CLI enable views, the command line interface there. We'll take a look at uh, enable views and applying those to user accounts. And finally, we will cover SSH and uh, management ACLs as they apply to the VTY lines when we attempt to SSH into a device. Uh, to get started here, very very quick review. Uh, we know that we, in most cases, unless we have username set to a privilege level of 15, we'll have to use an enable password or even on some devices uh, in, in certain circumstances and env environments you will be required to log in uh, to a device perhaps with an emergency account using a privilege level zero account and uh, and then enabling up from there. So the, the two types of enable passwords that we have are the enable password and the enable secret. The difference here is the enable password will show up and your running configuration is a clear text password and the enable secret will show up as an MD5 hash. Now there is the uh, option to cover up any clear text passwords in your running configuration using the service password encryption right here. We can see the uh, 